Welcome to Omniology School. Today too, the third volume of Healthcare Science, Dr. Yangi Lee's health essay is serialized. I pray that you listen carefully and put into practice to show the true value of your life. Written by Du Kyung, Jeon Kwang Hoon, the principal of the Omniology School. Title, Healthcare Science Column by Yang He Lee PhD. 27. Importance of Protein Foods No one not knows that protein is important for good health. However, protein intake is insufficient in the actual diet. Of course, Korea's dining table has a meal concept that if only rice and kimchi or soybean paste are served, then in countries like Western, where meat is the staple food, or China, which consumes a lot of meat, and Japan, which consumes a lot of seafood. So protein intake is insufficient. So, what role does this protein play in your body? Let's take a look. The cells of the animal contain the cytoplasm and nucleus in the cell membranes. The nucleus is a small spherical region in the center, but is mostly filled with the cytoplasm. However, the main component of this cytoplasm is protein. This cytoplasm contains about 70% of moisture in the protein and remains in the colloidal state, and is a component that is based on all the activities of cells by supplying and protecting the activity of nuclei and organelles. However, the problem is that the proteins that make up this cytoplasm are not kept, but the cells are born and play their part, and after a certain period of time, they reach the end of life and die. So our body continues to produce new cells. Protein supply is essential. Cell life varies depending on the cell type, but usually survives from 100 to 200 days. Therefore, in fact, after about 200 days, all cells in the past die and are replaced with newly born cells. Therefore, the supply of protein should be sufficient. Also, what we need to know is that this protein is used not only as a cellular component, but also as a caloric element. When it is consumed in excess by releasing energy of about 4 kilocalories per gram, it is used as a caloric element. Then, let's take a look at what problems are caused to our body when protein intake is insufficient. First of all, not to mention that lack of enough protein will cause cell regeneration problems but especially children in their growth stage will suffer from problems in maintaining their health. So, the phenomenon that we can check these days is that the children who were born in a generation that had enough protein intake had improved physique, among other things. It was due to the sufficient intake of this protein. And in adults, the intake ratio of carbohydrates and proteins becomes a problem. Here, when the intake of carbohydrates is large compared to the intake of proteins, the excess of caloric inevitably appears, so obesity symptoms are likely to appear first. In addition, if the state of continuous protein intake is insufficient, physiological disorders and aging are promoted simultaneously. For example, it is well known that the incidence of cerebral stroke increases when protein intake is insufficient. Then, why is it easy for people in our country to lack protein intake? This isn't because protein foods are scarce, but I don't think it's necessary to eat protein in every meal just because of the idea of eating. The problem is that the meal notion that meals can be solved by simply eating rice and side dishes that can swallow rice. So, it is the eating habits of our people to eat a protein-deficient meal and to binge meat when there is a chance. However, it is desirable to always keep in mind that protein foods are important for maintaining our health. And it is necessary to develop a dietary habit that consumes the proper amount of protein in every meal. One of the most common protein foods we consume is bean and nut foods as vegetable proteins. Next are oils and eggs, and fish and meats. However, the problem is that you have to pay attention to the type and amount of fat mixed with protein. This is because when eating protein foods, excessive fat is absorbed, or if a large amount of saturated fatty acids, such as meat, is consumed, the nutritional balance itself becomes a problem. 
In this regard, it is thought that a desirable way to eat protein is to develop a diet that always accompanies beans and fish and seafood in every meal. Thank you for your attention. The Health Column series continues. God be with you.